Oh, Shucky. Hey, I'm Taisha, back with another great video. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about ways to increase your breast milk. These are some of my tried and true methods that I've been using for coming up on a year now. Yes, I've hit my soft uh, goal of breastfeeding for one year. And there's been times where my, my milk was great and uh, there's times where it the supply just decreased. That was no reason to give up. I did not give up. I had great support. I'm here to be a support system for you. Now, these things that I'm gonna show you, I've scrubbed YouTube. You will not find these on any other channel. So let's get to it, all right? First off, this one here, okay? Um, I mentioned this in my video on breastfeeding essentials while I was still pregnant on this channel. And I had the mother's milk and the raspberry leaf traditional medicinals tea. I was skeptical to use the mother's milk because I heard mixed things on fenugreek. However, it has worked for me, okay? Um, I just have a cup of tea. I, I'll put these two in a mug with some hot water and local honey to help with my immune system. Do not give honey to your baby, but um, it's helped with my immune system because while you're nursing, you can't take too many things over the counter or anything. And plus, I didn't want to. I wanted only the best in my system for our baby girl. So um, I tried these. Have a, um, a, a, tea, a tea moment. Treat yourself every night in the morning to these. It definitely helps. So I highly recommend uh, these two. Yeah, I've seen this one on other channels, but I'm bringing it to you here. Oats, okay? This main ingredient, eat your oatmeal. Eat your oatmeal while, while you're pregnant. Um, have it um, as a snack while you're in labor. If you're filling up to it immediately, you know, start having it as a breakfast every morning. It's a quick go-to. Your, your sweetheart can make it for you or whoever's taking care of you postpartum can make these. Also, these are important because you won't hear this on any other channel. You may, but this one here, you'll hear here. Use oatmeal, get yourself some organic rolled oats. These aren't or organic, but they're non-GMO. I would prefer to have organic, but I couldn't do it, but here we go. Get yourself some rolled oats and make yourself some lactation oatmeal cookies. Shout out to um, my son's father and his wife. They put us on when they, they came down to visit. Those first few days, I was worried that I wasn't producing enough milk. They're like, hey, try the lactation cookies. They gave my husband the recipe. He went ahead and made them, made me a huge batch of lactation cookies. And the milk was just... Although that first few days, I had to give myself time. But, you know, this was... It worked in my mind, it got, it got me in the right mindset to know that I'm going to produce milk, okay? As well as pumping, you know, things like that. Keeping baby at the boot. The uh, oatmeal cookie recipe will be in the description, but I'll take some of the main ingredients. Of course, oats, okay? Oats. Then you will also get this other item here that is essential in making milk, okay? Brewer's yeast, okay? I'm gonna put a link in the description of the brand that I use, which is organic. Brewer's yeast, a little bit goes a long way. I've had this for a few months. I've only purchased one bag, but I store it in um, airtight jars. So this was the only bag that I purchased this whole year. I know stuff has an expiration date, but I jar it, vacuum seal it, we're good. Make your oatmeal cookies with your brewer's yeast. And you can also use this next ingredient that's gonna help you with your milk. Ground fennel, okay, ground fennel. You can actually put a teaspoon or so of this in your um, in your tea, okay, with, with some honey and or you can use it as a sprinkle on your foods. But the flavor to me, it tastes like licorice. I don't know why, but to me, it's, it's really good. It's, it's, it's not a bad taste at all. You can also get a fresh fennel bulb, bulb a fresh fennel bulb. Yeah, um, I actually got this recipe from Publix and there's actually a fennel bulb fennel bulb salad. <laughs> um, if I can't find the link on the public's website, I'll go ahead and um, I'll fi find my recipe card and I'll type it out in the description for you. It was really, really good, refreshing, didn't take too much time to prepare. Actually, I didn't make it. My husband made it and, you know, served me up. So yes, it was really, really good. And that, that fennel will help. You would not believe that help boost my milk. Like I say, our bodies are, are still, you know, in postpartum mode, but my body in particular is returning back to pre-pregnancy, which means I got my menstrual cycle. I got my, my menstrual cycle at three months postpartum. And I want to recommend a great book for you. Hang on. Okay. Shout out to my midwife. Shout out. She put me on this book. She gave me a bunch of books to read while, while pregnant. And this was one of them. The No, she re recommended this book, The Fifth Vital Sign. And check out the, um, 
the Fertility Pod, Fertility Friday podcast here on YouTube, okay? This book is amazing. It talks about the importance of our menstrual cycle, all right? I'm going to go and give this book its proper respect on another video where I will review it, but make sure you pick this up. What I learned as a result is that when it comes to that time of the month, our menstrual cycle, even from, from ovulation to um, our menstrual cycle, our body is demanding different nutrients, different vitamins. That's why on certain times you may crave chocolate, you may crave this, you may crave that, and that's your body craving certain minerals. My sister put me on to this, Geritol, <laughs> yes. Uh, Geritol actually has brewer's yeast in it. It is a one, two, three, the fourth ingredient is brewer's yeast, but you're getting niacin, vitamin B6, choline, iron. You're getting all these important things that you need as well as baby is getting. Take it at your own risk that it, it has a certain percentage of alcohol. There is an iron supplement that I took during pregnancy. Actually, this one right here. I took this iron supplement uh, throughout my pregnancy uh, for having low iron. Once I got on this, as well as another iron supplement, iron levels were good to go. Cause you know, I had to maintain certain levels so that, you know, I wouldn't have to be transferred to the hospital or I, I wanted my home birth. And my, my midwife approved that I take this three times a day and my iron is up there. And I'm happy to report that our baby girl has zero blood issues, okay? But um, I still take this, but once I saw that this has had brewer's yeast, I ran out of this kind of quick. So what I did was just took some of my brewer's yeast and just shook a little bit in there. Yeah, go ahead and take it to the head, all right? Just make sure with your iron, you take that separate from your calcium, okay? I have multiple sources of calcium, depending on, you know, what I was given, like, when I put like, hey, if somebody asks, hey, Taish, do you need something? I said, hey, bring me some vitamins, bring me something. Um, I really like these Naturello um, bone strength calcium pills. The only thing is, you know, you take four a day, which was not a problem for me. And when I wasn't taking these, um, um, I also would take this um, whole earth and sea prenatal vitamin. Um, it, it has it has its vitamins and minerals from, from natural sources. So I really, really, really enjoyed this. For a little while, I was taking these, but I really enjoyed a complete source of these because with this calcium and vitamin D, um, it didn't have the magnesium and uh, what is it, phosphate that I needed. So I stuck with these complete sources. I will link these in the description, but your body needs calcium as you're going through your ovulation, getting closer and closer to your cycle. And, and for me, during my first few days of my menstrual cycle, my supply just, okay, it takes a dive. And um, stay tuned, keep watching this video to the end because I will tell you what we use to supplement. Um, I'm not against formula, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against formula, but for our daughter, we spare no cost. So what we, provide during those days where my supply is was super low and it's so super low sometimes we supplement with this particular formula so stay tuned to the end to see that okay i found this one recently and um i was given this uh sample packet of active greens i really 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 like the flavor of this you know me on this channel i love to uh, uh grow and juice my own oh, grass so um i really 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 love this the levels of uh it also has it has your proteins, your vitamin A, C, and E, niacin, your vitamin B6. It has your uh, folate. I really like that because I was taking folate separately during pregnancy and it's not the folic acid, it's the folate. So I really love act active greens for this, okay? Um, you also have your B12, your biotin, calcium. It has 118 milligrams, which is 9% of your daily, va va uh, daily value, daily all kinds of good stuff with active greens so i'm definitely going to uh make another video where i'm going to do the active greens 30 day challenge okay but thank you to active greens for sending me this uh sample i really appreciate it this sunflower peels okay don't pick on me y'all don't pick on me but um i took these early on to help with clogged um clogged ducts oh my gosh that stuff hurts oh my gosh i've only had that once and that's when i just started taking um two to four of these a day and i can't say it helped with my um let down or anything like that it's just i haven't had that pain of a clogged duct 
anymore. With your milk supply, people say drink water, 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 water. Yeah, that's good, but water doesn't have what you need in, okay? Yes, stay hydrated. So I would say drink fluids, okay? Drink fluids. Um, also, make sure you're getting something nutritious, of nutritional value, everything you put in your, in your mouth, everything you put in your system, okay? Um, so I reviewed the Element before. Element has the magnesium it also has the um potassium it also has different electrolytes it, it, it has your salts as well and also gives you a little bit of flavor me yes i'll drink water at certain times but i'm like i'm getting sick and tired of drinking water i need some flavor but it's like i said i'm getting sick and tired of oatmeal so you want to put different flavors and stuff in it so um in the beginning, we bought a lot of body armor drinks and that can become expensive. And also, you know, it's a limited amount of flavors you can get. So we use coconut water at times because the coconut water has potassium, vitamin C, which you need to help boost your immune system, the phosphorus, as well as magnesium. So coconut water is a great go-to. But me, I have the water distiller that I've reviewed on this channel before. Um, just get some distilled water, mix um, as much as the element that I want into it. This stuff is salty, okay? It is salty. It's like drinking salt water. You're about to gurgle with, with a little bit of flavor, okay? So you can just control how much you put in there. One packet will take me through the course of a day. But one of my favorites, I've actually been using this product for years, and it is the Liquid IV. And this one is really good. Um, I find it in bulk at our local uh, warehouse store. And the um, liquid IV, it um, has potassium, vitamin C, niacin, uh, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and it also has some, some, some sugars in it. But I like it because it doesn't have um, the artificial colors like certain things do. Let me make sure before I stand on that. It has a citric acid, so if you're opposed to citric acid, this wouldn't be for you. But yeah, it doesn't have um, any of the red number 40s, the blue threes and stuff like that. So I really, really like the liquid IV as far as when they say drink fluids, I'm going to drink something with some flavor. Now, you may think this is a, a bottle of beer, but it's not. It's actually a malted beverage. There's three different types. You have the Vita Malt, which is like a Caribbean drink. I find that at my local Kroger. Um, you also have the, um, what is it? The Publix brand. The Publix brand malt is a malted breakfast drink. That's actually the best buy. It's the best price that I found. It's about 4 or $5 for a six pack. However, the Vita Malt is a little expensive for a six pack. It's it's for us, it's almost $10. Then this right here is the Malta Goya. I found this at um, a store. And um, I think it's like a box of 12. And it was like for, I think it's like, like 12 or $14. So come out to about a dollar a bottle. But the Publix brand is the best. Now, <laughs> if you're opposed to like caramel color, but you're okay with like the barley. We actually have barley. That's another item. Dang, I forgot to get it. The barley. Make yourself some barley soup. But this has the um, malted barley. It also has um, hops, but it's non-alcoholic. And so um, on those days where I need a boost in, in my milk, especially overnight or in the morning before I leave for, for work, I'll drink one of these. And then um, I'm making milk all night or I, re I get a really good pump b before I work. So because I'm about to leave and go, so I'm going to drink this while I, I have it open. Only thing about it has the caramel color. Oh, Shucky. Yeah, that happened. All right, so it's pretty good. Gives you, gives you that, that boost. Now, I'm not going to drink this one on camera because, like I said, I'm about, I'm about to leave. Let me say, sorry. Our, we, we went to a breastfeeding class um while we were pregnant and the nurse who was um instructing the breastfeeding class she said she worked with the amish community and she stated when um new mothers would have issues getting milk she would tell them have a beer <laughs> so we thought about that like really wow but when those days came where my, my milk supply dropped tremendously 
we thought about non-alcoholic beer. And I actually have a video where we drink a non-alcoholic non beer, my first beer ever. It was absolutely disgusting. But in my mind, I'm like, my, my baby girl needs this milk. So of course you don't want to drink alcohol, you know, while you're nursing, because whatever you drink, baby drinks. But we did, um, my, my, my husband did find this non-alcoholic flavored beer. So it was better than a straight, dark, non-alcoholic beer. This is non-alcoholic. It has just 0.5% alcohol by volume, which is nothing. My liver processed that. And um, it's pretty good. It's, it's a mango wheat brew. And we only find this at, uh, at Publix. I think it comes in a six-pack, six-pack cans. And even though it has like such a little bit of alcohol in it, they'll still card you to get it. So, <laughs> but um, I'll drink one of these before bed, brush my teeth because it's, it, it's still, to me, it has that beer smell. And I don't know how strong that beer smell is, but I just like to get rid of it. But it also helps with my milk as well. And the other item I was telling you about that, that helps increase milk is barley, okay? Uh, you can use this and soak it and then make either like a barley soup or I've heard of, of I don't know, I think barley bread, I'm not sure. But um, I like to use this as a soup. So you see my jar is still full, so I haven't used it. So I gotta figure out a way to do this. Figure out a good, good recipe. All right, this next item to help you increase your breast milk supply is toasted sesame seaweed snacks. If I'm having a chicken soup, I'll put a few pieces of this sesame snack in there and it just, it turns into like a, a wilted spinach-like texture. It's really good at helping to increase your breast milk supply. There was a video I watched of um, a maternity ward in I believe Korea where they, the first meal that they would serve to the mothers consists of seaweed, like a seaweed soup and that helps um, breast milk production. So make sure you look into this. I will highly recommend you pick up something that is organic because um, there was one pack of like snack seaweed that I had bought. I think it was like at Costco. And on the back of it said, this product is known in California to cause cancer and birth defects. So spend a couple extra pennies and pick up something that, that is organic. The next item, this one is really, really good. If you have like um, your mom or you're getting close, close to the holiday season where the, the family get togethers are coming in and they ask you, what do you want? Tell them to make you some collard greens, okay? I will post a recipe in the description that I've been using for the past month or so that totally changed the way that I cook greens. I hated making greens because I used my grandmother, my mother's recipe where you boil them jokers for a couple of hours and you got greens water everywhere. I didn't like dealing with that. Um, I know you, your time is limited. Having a, a new baby, you trying to, you know, maximize your time. You can actually make this while your, your baby is napping. It's ready in less than 30 five minutes okay this is um some collard greens i'll put the recipe in the description but the leafy greens are packed with calcium and i was wondering why i was craving greens so bad and it was because my body was probably low in calcium so make sure you um try to at least make um a pot of or a pan because you don't have to put them in a boiling pot anymore put them in a pan and see so you have a bowl of greens every week just make it a weekly ritual to, to get that calcium also keep that fiber going and it's just a great snack all you gotta do is just heat it up and it's full of flavor really good this recipe of greens i want to share it has apple cider vinegar in there which is really really good as as far as like your gut health and stuff like that now as promised i will tell you about um at the times where we did have to supplement with formula and i'll tell you about this the formula that we use i am not against formula i'm just against you know the crappy formulas that you know the first ingredient is like um corn syrup solids what the heck is that and why are you wanting to give that to a baby so i'm i'm really thankful that my husband did some research and it was because of him our daughter she gets what what we believe is the best of the best uh formula we uh provide her with the aussie bubs i think you pronounce it a certain way i don't know but we call it the uh, aussie bubs she's been using this since um she was the single months and now she's coming up on the 12 months and we, we really like using this, this uh, formula because, you know, it's clean. It's not made by an American lab. And the first ingredient is not corn syrup solids, okay? It's a, uh, it's a goat milk-based formula. And we 
we wanted to use this particularly at six months of age because we were finding out at that time is when um, the baby is not receiving as much iron from breast milk. So we have to supplement with outside sources. So um, we are using this so that she receives enough iron, but also make sure we feed her enough iron rich foods. I'll leave a link for this in the description along with everything else. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comments. And I thank you again for watching this video. Good luck.